little antenna got caught on the garage door. <laughs> kind of like Monday mornings just because they're like, you know, we're kicking off a new week. It's new, fresh starts. I'm kind of feeling excited because one thing that I'm noticing is for probably the first time in my life, the positive and healthy um, changes that I'm making in my lifestyle, so my eating, for example, which is always my nemesis, um, it seems to be coming from within. So what I mean by that is rather than having to exert willpower not to overeat or eat certain foods like, well, like poor quality chocolate, um, the cravings for them is just going away. And Um, so that's a really good feeling. No, no, oh, that's my, uh, oops. <laughs> Little antenna got caught on the garage door. <laughs> it looks unscathed though. Um, so yeah, that is really exciting because I feel like to date in my life it's been a struggle of, you know, wanting the food for no reason, like it's just the craving but was noticing this weekend that that is just totally going away. Yay! And I think, you know, just getting through that stage of it takes it to a whole new level and just allows me to, it just opens the door for um, applying that energy in other areas to uh, move me in the direction of my truth. Happy Monday. So have a super great Monday and I will see you shortly. Love. So I'm just running in to pick up my mail. Oh, that's my mitt. <laughs> snowy afternoon out. Just doing one of my favorite things, filling up with gas. Not going on a vacation yet, but two days till, actually yeah, in 48 hours pretty much, I'll be leaving for Mexico. It's hard to believe how quick time goes. Like, hard to believe Mexico is already here or will be here. So I think it's going to be nice to have some R&R &R in the sun and to get to visit with Holly and Jackie and Kyle will probably be more exciting than anything. And yeah, so tonight I think I have to do some laundry for that. Well, I don't think I do have to do some laundry. I have to get packed and then head out. And that's it. I may have to shovel when I get home. I'll see. That'll work good actually because don't think I'll be running. It's been kind of snowy all day and getting slushy. Or it is kind of slushy, which will be tough to run in. So I think, I think shoveling will be a good compromise, improvise. But all my errands done after work. It's kind of nice starting at 6.30 because I had a chance to leave a little bit earlier than usual. It's nice. Alright, hey, looks like the gas tank is full. Okay, 
one more stop and then I am home. I just have to go get some rotini noodles. We're having rotini and spaghetti sauce tonight. So, so delicious. I'm almost wondering if I should buy breadsticks, but I probably should. <laughs> I definitely shouldn't. Actually, what I'm doing is putting together a one month meal plan and a one month fitness plan. And I'm going to follow it to the mark. February is actually gonna be a super quick, super short month because going to Mexico from the 2nd to the 7th and then oh which I can't wait I can't believe I'm going to Mexico I think the last time I was there was oh it was probably 2012 and it was I think it was Tulum so so anyways that is gonna rock and then going to Minneapolis one weekend I think weekend of February 17th February is a short month as it is, and it's not only here. So there's only 28 days in it. If you didn't know, but that's how many days are there. <laughs> One thing that I'm trying to change and improve is not to state the obvious. And to just state facts and let people draw their own insinuations from them because who knows if my presumption, deduction, insinuation is right. All right, it is a perfect day for shoveling because it's so warm out. Like, I think it's only about minus two Celsius. The whole year, put you in the worst mood out. It's hard sometimes. And if that you are, when you get a song, if you really listen, when you get a song, get some new addition. Sometimes you know the darkest of days It's how I've learned how to cry when you pop it Gonna be a vloggable moment, love muffin. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, cool! They're here. We're installing some new technology. Oh, wow, that is. Awesome! I even have to adjust it. It just popped up like that. Oh, that is it's cool. Here, can you hold the camera in front of that? Please? In front of this? Yeah. Hey, vlog through five screens. Actually, just three lenses. This is how clear Yoga Live is going to be coming to you on next week from this Wednesday. Woot! Thanks to Purdy. <laughs> Thanks, son. That is amazing. I can't believe how clear it is. Hey? Well, uh, we can bump it up to 1080p too. There, now you're in high def. Okay, we gotta get the software going now. <clears throat> That <coughs> fireplace going down here. When you open OBS for the first time, a blank screen appears on the screen. At the bottom of OBS, you see main tools, scenes, sources, and mixer. Okay, got it. 
On the right you'll find settings and broadcast tools. We'll just put camera in there. That'll be your camera for you. Okay. <clears throat> Good night.